Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 2 of the Chelsea Road to Glory on Football Manager 2020. Now I just want to say a huge thanks to the people that support the video uh, or the previous video uh, episode number 0. Uh, actually I guess you can still call this number 1 because uh, I did actually name the previous episodes episode 0 just to test it out and see what the reaction was going to be and it was a very positive one. Um, so, with that being said, this is going to be the episode number one of the Chelsea FM save. So, what we're going to start off with is the first press conference that I've actually got with Chelsea. So, uh, as you can see, your initial thoughts are taking the job. Uh, I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. You stand here unveiled by the new Chelsea manager as a big fan of the club. Surely this, yeah, is definitely passionate. Uh, I can't stop what This is a wonderful feeling. The facilities at the club are fantastic. Are you excited about the opportunity to work in such an environment? Absolutely uh, delighted. Your playing career was a huge success at this sort of level, but management is a new challenge. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think so. I feel a great knowledge of the game. Yeah, I could say that. I've been made I'm going to keep it the same. Because um, <clears throat> I don't really like to bring in new people. I just keep it the same. Uh, does the squad have the necessary quality for your achieve your target? Um, yeah, I think so. Have you met the players yet? Uh, yep. Uh, the fans will play a massive part. I, I know most of these questions that they already ask anyway, so I just keep the um, the uh, normal ones, uh, the normal answers I would give. Uh, so I'm just going through it, trying to not go through too quick. Uh, oh, he lost the sheik. Yeah, he's injured though. So as for the quite, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to keep him as captive, even though he probably won't play as much. Um, while some managers are famous for their hands-on approach, others maintain a more reserved manner. How do you see your management style? Um, and the players feel valued. Yeah, I guess. The league has to be my priority. That's what the fans want. Hmm. I, I guess. Even though I don't really know if it is. At the moment. Right, we've got a game against the under-23s. Now, uh, I do let the assistant managers do the preseason games uh, normally, but it looks like I haven't. And I haven't even selected a team. So, we're going to have to do that while we're here. So, all the people that aren't in the... who aren't currently in this squad. Well, Tomori's away, so he ain't going to be playing. Uh, basically, I just need to fill the bench. Ross Barkley's there. Okay, uh, Alonso's there. I'll put Alonso up there. Well, Tomori's on holiday, so he can just go straight down to the bottom. Who else have we got that's available? Batchwise available. I know Pedro's available. Giroud's available. I'm going to actually start Batchwise due to Tammy Abraham being away. And who else have we got? We've got many, we haven't got many players by the looks of things. Pedro's there. Um, anyone else that's not in the squad? That's quite concerning. Because uh, Pedro's going to have to go there. Well, I might have to dip into the under-23s, I think, by the looks of things. No, we actually are going to go do that, under-23s. Right, let's get some players that are... Wow, all of them are probably playing against us aren't they okay this is um, a bit of a problem I'm not gonna lie if I do submit team yeah so Pulisic is unavailable oh my god I have to put Barkley there even though he's not really yeah well this is a bit of an issue just a little bit of an issue So, okay, if I just get rid of them, <clears throat> I don't know why it's still, wow, we, surely we can't go in, we have to go into the under 19s, I think, or under 18s, let's see, were well, they all unavailable as well, oh my god, this is not, actually, oh no, they are literally all, wow, this is not good. I literally can only use those three subs. So it looks like we're going into the game itself. Normally I let the assistant manager do 
the games, but we're going to have to see. Right, well. Well, we're just going to have to go for it, lads. Uh, select the players. Play a natural game. Kick off. Play. Before I do that, I need to make sure I've got my right. Uh, key highlights, replays yes because of the series, uh, sidelines the one I normally use and then zoom, zoom all the way out just because I like to see the whole pitch uh, and the height I normally, oh no wrong way, drop it down one, yeah, no between highlights very fast, match speed yeah slightly faster, okay so that's that done, now hopefully we are good to go. Now it's obviously going to keep this highlight because um, I, didn't, I didn't actually mean to do this but yeah Barkley on the ball. What you're going to do here inside to Kovacic, Jorginho, ah, it's well over. So yeah um, this is going to be interesting first game against the under 23s or the development team as it's called in real life. Uh, again I don't really because of the play, lack of like players that we have on offer to use I'm not sure how the team's going to go in terms of fitness because obviously this, this is only this pre-season. Emerson tries to cross in, Batshuayi gets his first goal. Uh, I need to change this because it's not the slightly faster that I use normally. Kovacic plays a nice ball to Jorginho, into Emerson, takes it around the defender, slides it across to Batshuayi who scores the goal. I can skip that. Um, so I'll, I'll give him a little praise. That was a nice play from us. Really concerning that we only have three subs. Um, it is it is concerning. I would have used players like Billy Gilmore, uh, Mark uh, Guerhi. How uh, I, I think I pronounced that wrong. Jorginho. Okay, we're playing some nice football though, which is what I like. Barkley, Pedro, two 0 Let's go. Again, it still feels a little bit slow. I think that's the one I want <clears throat> compared to what my other saves are. As you see, Barkley, nice little spin, good ball across, Pedro, never going to miss from there really is he. As we go into the next part of the game, 26 minutes, now this is on the fastest it can be, I'm pretty sure if I check the settings, yep. So is this the one that I have? See that seems way too quick. Pedro... Aspadaqua, Jorginho, oh okay, that's right, oh good ball, Kante, Jorginho, Kovacic, nice, Emerson, Jorginho, see I like how we're keeping the ball really well here, this is what I want to do, Kovacic unlucky, again I'm just gonna, there's no in between there is there, Mm. Oh well, 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 we'll see, we'll see. Right, the players are definitely going to get complacent. Right, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with how it's going. End team talk. Let's go into the next part of the game. I'm going to praise the lads. I'm probably going to bring, bring Alonso Batshuayi on. Actually, I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to uh, take them off. See, look at that. We don't have... We really needed a, all our squad back, which is quite... Well. I'm going to have to promote people like Billy Gilmore. Um, obviously, we got quite a few injuries as well. Like uh, who, who's injured? Loftus Cheeks injured. Rhys James is injured. <clears throat> anyway, we'll get to that when we get there. Pedro and it's three 0 to Chelsea, the first team. <clears throat> Replay there. Nice original cross and Giroud gets the ball to Alonso. He whips it into the back post and there. Oh, straight for the keeper's legs. Oh well, we'll praise the boys there for that game. Hopefully we can keep this up. Pedro on a 9.1 with two goals. I'm enjoying Pedro at the moment. He's impressed me so far. Obviously because I would probably have Willian and hudson Doy starting in terms of the league. But uh, as things stands, Pedro is um, kind of, you know, showing me that he, he's deserved of a start. Kovacic now on the ball. I'm going to try to play that wide to Alonso. He's going to cut that back to Kovacic. Jorginho now, Kante, can we play it wide? Oh, he goes for a shot and it's over. Actually, not a bad effort from Kante there. Not one to shoot normally, is he? Um, anyway, Alonso. Ball whipped in, Zuma. Ah, he's put it over. He's put it over. Unlucky there from Zuma. 
15 minutes left. Uh, I would take Caviero off, but I feel like I, I don't want to just bring him on for like 10 minutes. Uh, players are really going to be tired after this. Pedro, oh wow, love a little bit of skill. Barkley, Giroud, and that is 4 0 to the boys in blue. Pedro does a nice bit of skill here to get it around the defender. Wait for this here. Scoops it round him. Goes around the other side. Ball in. Barkley tries to. I don't know if that was a shot at first. I don't know. Anyway, uninterested. I hate when players do that, but we just got to praise them. <clears throat> totally dominated this game, which is what I was expecting. And one more praise because that's going to be the full time whistle. Uh, anyway, and there you go. 4 0 win. Uh, I'll quickly show you what I say to the team. Passionate, very pleased with the performance. We're going to swipe up on everyone and say, you play very well, good work. And then we'll end the team talk there. And we'll move on into the next game of pre-season. Right then guys, moving on into the next game of the episode and the next game of the pre-season tour we are doing is against Spartak Moscow. Now, I think I have changed, I've brought in Alonso uh, for... Uh, Emerson and then we've got Pedro and Barkley switching wings I do but I don't believe anyone is back yet from holiday which is kind of annoying uh, however can I bring in some under 23s this time oh I did not mean to press that we go back to home oh I didn't mean to do that well we've submitted the team by accident which is kind of annoying because we only have uh, two players on the bench now uh, I'm going to go passionate uh, I'm going to keep saying it's your chance to impress me, uh, simply because I want to try, yeah, I, I, just, I just want the players to like play well so they can actually uh, impress me so uh, I can pick them for, or make me uh, make them believe that I should be picking them for the Premier League team. So, starting off, Kovacic on the ball, uh, my players aren't really that fit at the moment because we're obviously l lacking match sharpness and fitness just coming back from... Uh, the end of last season and their holidays and stuff, but we're playing some nice football here. Barkley going to play it wide. Asbaliqueta, Kante now on the ball and run it down. Asbaliqueta again inside to Kante. Playing some nice one twos there. Whips it to the back post and Pedro can't finish. Wow, surprising. No, he's been on some all right form as of uh, late. Should be scoring there, and that's a goal for Moscow. Zub. Zobnin, Zobnin has just scored. Um, as you can see, Badu with the free kick to the back post, and there's three men at the back not marked, which is really bad from a Chelsea perspective. So, um, yeah, we're not even ten minutes into the game, we're one 0 down. Again, I mean, I'm gonna say it now. It's only pre-season, but the signs are there that it's not what we want to see. I'm gonna demand more here from the team. Batshuayi now. Asbaliqueta inside, Jorginho on the ball, can he play it over the top? Plays it inside to Kovacic, can we switch this? Pedro, Batshuayi, can we switch it? Alonso, good goal, really good team goal there. A lot of players getting involved, Alonso with a nice finish, uh, nice assist from Batshuayi as well. As you can see, Jorginho to Kovacic, into Pedro, Pedro to Batshuayi, into half of Alonso, one touch and he finishes that into the bottom corner to make it 1-1 so we're moving on in 25th minute or so now another highlight as you can see Spartak Moscow playing some nice football here ball's gonna get taken down the line inside the goal scorer inside to Kral Till Larson they're playing some really nice football to be fair to them wow that's a good save from Kepa as well but they were playing some good football I'm gonna demand more again once I get the chance oh I didn't need to pause that Badu is going to whip this ball in all the way to the back post. Ball's going to get played back across the Larson. Shoots blocked by his own player there, but they've still got the ball somehow, Moscow. And is that offside? Yeah, it's offside. So we got away with that one. We're going to demand more from the team. Uh, oh, Alonso free kick. Ah, it's over. Not good at all from Alonso, but it's fine. It's fine. 1 1. I'm going to say get creative. We've only got four minutes left. I don't think we're going to get another highlight in. And that is going to be half time. So, I'm going to move on. Uh, I think there's a lot more from them in the second half. Because we didn't really play that well. Ah, 
Asma Laquetta, uh, not Asma Laquetta, Avrita Balaga twice there, just not really, oh, Christensen injured. Um, that's not good at all. Asma Laquetta is going to have to try and play centre-back for me. Unfortunately, uh, that's not what we want, is it? Players getting injured on pre-season when we only have two players back. Um, anyway, throw in. Oh, that's not a good throw in at all. Barkley, oh, he's lost the ball straight away. Barkley, come on, man. Emerson, Kovacic. Oh, my God, what is happening here? We're really, really struggling here. Schaller. Don't say that's Andre Schaller. Good tackle from Emerson. Oh, penalty. What? I thought that was a good tackle. There's no way that's a penalty. Oh, he scored. No. Andre Schaller as well. The man that used to play for Chelsea. That is just... I thought I got the ball. No way that's a penalty. Are you joking me? Kepa was not close to it at all. Wow, okay, so we're 2-1 down in pre-season. That is not good. I'm going to bring Giroud on. Ball back Shuai. I have no subs. Look at this. My players are going to get injured at this rate. It's not good to see, lads. Not good to see. Not good to see at all. I'm going to go on to a positive. Actually, I'm going to go on to an attacking mindset. Because we are chasing the game here. Kovacic whips the ball in. Zoom is there. Oh, and he's put it over. No, we didn't want that. As we approach the last 10 minutes of the game, we're going to demand more once more. Everyone's focused up. Can we get one more chance to try and salvage a draw in this preseason friendly against Moscow? Into the last minute of the game, and we can't. 2-1 oh, is the full-time result. I mean, we. Ugh, I don't really know what to say about that. It's just not great, is it? We're not good enough. Uh, I'm going to continue there, and... Yeah, that's not great. Anyway, moving on into the next game of the episode, which we'll have a little check. It's going to be Lot Lock Lockerco. Oh my god, I I've completely spelled that wrong. Said that wrong. Moscow. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I've completely butchered that name. Anyway, we've got a fair more, a fair more, um, a good few games before the start of the Premier League season. We've got one, two, three, four, five more to go. And we're going to jump into that game right now. Right then, guys, moving on into the next game of the episode. Uh, we're playing the other Moscow now. Um, <clears throat> what I've actually done, I've uh, assigned the match day friend, uh, pre season friendly games to the assistant, which is what I normally do when I play FM. Uh, just because I think it will speed up the um, episode uh, and speed up the, the save overall to get us to the or where we want to be in terms of the save, which is at the start of the Premier League for the next episode. So, uh, Zoom has passed the fitness test, that's fine. Uh, continue, hopefully we can get a result. Now, a few players, and a lot of the younger players have... I, I've picked my training camp for this game, and we lost 2-1, Jorginho getting the goal. Ah, it's not good again. 88th minute goal conceded. Ah, it's really, really not good, I don't like to see that. Um, okay, these are people. I'm just gonna basically get to this next friendly, then I'll cut off again because we've got a bit of a wait until the next one. But that's disappointing again to lose. Uh, I don't. I'm not really happy with that. To be honest. I mean, I don't know how good they are in real life. Mod the Lotomiv Moscow. Uh, but we shouldn't really be losing games like that. I mean, pre-season, not all my players are here. Not everyone's fully fit, but that's not really an excuse to be losing. But anyway, what we're going to do, these are basically just coaching and stuff. Um, what's this? Yeah, I, I've done that one already, so that's done. Not going to the away is the next game for us. Like I said, I, not a great start to the save. We started off well against the under 23s, and then we had a, and then just yeah. Since then we haven't really done well. So uh, you suggested squad. We're going to rotate it up again. Uh, let's see, under 23s. I mean, I'm not really going to touch that. I don't know if all my players are back yet. Uh, I'm not going to attend that. I'm just going to leave that. And then on Wednesday we have a game against Nottingham Forest, and then we do have a game the following Wednesday against Hull, which I'll. Uh, go through myself and then we'll come back to once we get there 
a scout meeting. I'm not gonna. I'm not interested because we're not. We're gonna, we can't really. We can't sign anyone until next summer. So I'm not worried about that at all. So Zuma again, fully fit. Let's see if we can get a result against Nottingham Forest. I'd expect us to win against Nottingham Forest pretty comfortably. If we don't, concerns will be raised and we'll probably look to change the team. Well, not to the team, maybe some tactics. We won 1-0, Kante getting the goal. The stats, I mean, yeah, it's a win. I'll take it, but I'm not a convincing one. So what we're going to do now, we're going to jump into the next game against Hull and I will be right back. Right then guys, moving on into the next game against Hull in the preseason tournament. Well, not tournament, preseason, uh, what do you call it? Preseason tour. Uh, if we go to the inbox, we did in fact. Oh, we drew 0 0 with. Oh my god, wow. Okay, tough start to this, the life at Chelsea. I, what am I on? I want to be on this one. So this is. This is the. Uh, so why is it not on positive? Okay, so we got that, that's fine. This is fine. And this is also fine. Hmm. Worrying times at Chelsea. Anyway, moving on to the next game of the preseason tour. Uh, I do, well, it's dropping a save quickly. Obviously, I need to pick the right team. Uh, a lot of the players are back now. So what I'm gonna try and do for the next game is pick the team that I'm gonna try and use for the season and see if we can get anywhere with that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Alright then guys, moving on into the next game against Galatasaray. Um, tough game, all oh, numbers. Uh, I'm just going to auto a number, to be honest. I don't really, I, I, I think auto number just picks the ones which are normally the ones which you see, which is correct. And moving on into the game. So hopefully, we can get a win against Galatasaray. Tough opponent, probably the toughest game we, we should, on paper, play. In this preseason tournament, uh, not tournament, preseason tour. I keep saying tournament by accident. Uh, my apologies, but we do win one 0 An own goal by Nagatomo in the 87th minute, and Alonso's injured. Look at this injury list. It just keeps on flooding and flooding and flooding and flooding. I just don't know what to do. Uh, we're gonna stay on the on the sim just until this game against Olympiakos. I don't know. Is that the actual Olympiakos or is that just a different Olympiacos. I'm not actually too sure if I'm going to be totally honest. Again, I think this is our last preseason game before the Premier League starts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end off with this Olympiacos one and then we're going to get to the Brian game, which is the first game of the season, I do believe. And then we're going to stop there and stop the episode there. But hopefully we can win against this Olympiacos side I don't know too much about if it's not the actual uh, Olympiacos team. Alon uh, Emerson getting injured there. It's not great having all these injuries in about to be the start of August. Now, I don't know if... I don't know when all of, all my, all of my players are back. I know there's some injuries, well, a lot of injuries uh, for us. Uh, transfer window ends soon, but obviously we can't buy anyone, or, uh, so we're not really interested. Obviously, we do have players that we can sell, which we do obviously don't want to, but that may be something we might have to just take part in, just so we don't sell players in the window, especially the players that are quite um, needed for us, in a sense. So, nearly at this game now, there's a lot of stuff just coming along, which I don't really wants to see to be honest but anyway moving on hopefully we can get to this game hopefully we can just get to the prem season with players that I, do. I just want the players to be like fit and ready as you can see brighton first game of the season next sunday then we have liverpool united palace and wolves to finish off wow as you can see on the 29th of august the champions league draw is there for the group stage so i don't know if it does it um I don't know if it does it like the real life one or it just gives you like a different group. Uh, I don't really know, yeah. Anyway, we're going to change the team here. Pulisic and Willian are back in. Batch is going to start up top. Uh, ready for this game. Oh, obviously, this team is going to be a bit stronger. 
hudson Adoy is back into the rehabilitation stage, which is good to see. Obviously, uh, a lot of the players like Rudiger, James, hudson Adoy had the injuries from last season, which have carried over into this season. So, moving on into this game, are we going to play it now? I think we're playing it now. That's why it's taking so long to spin. Oh no, next game. Continue. Let's see if we can finish off the preseason with a win. Hopefully we can. Olympiacos, we've got a stronger side, I'd say, now. 2 0 win. Pulisic, ooh, Pulisic scoring on his first game for Chelsea, in a sense, obviously. This is his first game for Chelsea in the save, uh, not in real life. But anyway, Kovacic there as well, getting a goal. That's his first goal for Chelsea, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I'm happy with that. So if we look at the fixtures and results. So we won. Uh, one, two, three, four. Lost two, drew one. Not too bad, I'd say. Uh, to be honest, with that being said, we're going to move on to the end of the episode, which I'm going to move into a segment which I'm going to try and bring in every episode, which is going to be play of the episode. As of right now, I'm going to go away and look at the stats and stuff for the preseason tour that we did, and I'll pick a player of the episode. So I will be right back. Right then guys, as you can see on the screen now, what I've done is thrown up and made a little bit of artwork for the series. Obviously, as you can see, the player of the episode is none other than Mateo Kovacic. Now, as you can see, he got one goal, zero assists, and I gave him an overall episode rating of eight because I know the assists and goals went high, but if you go to this game, as you can see here, 8.4. The next game he had a 6.8, the next game 7.8 which was the highest in that, in that game, the next game 7.3 which again oh, apart from Kante was the second highest, against Hull 7.9, Galatasaray had a 7 and then Olympiacos with the goal he had an 8.3 so overall even though he only got one goal and zero assists his overall performances in each game has stood out for me so that is the reason why he's getting the, man, the player of the episode and with that being said that is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.